Junie B. Jones, the beauty shop guy, is a beauty shop guy. Oh, can you tell what she's gonna do? Let's see what happens. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. Only guess what? That doesn't even matter anymore because I'm changing my name to a brand new different name. It popped right in my head when I waked it up this morning. That's how come I jumped out of bed and I zoomed to the kitchen to tell mother and daddy. They were sitting at the breakfast table. People, people, guess what, guess what? I'm changing my name to a brand new different name. And it's the loveliest name I ever even heard of. Mother was feeding my baby brother named Ollie. And Daddy was reading his paper. They did not pay any attention to me. I climbed up on my chair and I shouted my new name. Pinky Gladys Gutsman. My new name is Pinky Gladys Gutsman. Just then. Daddy looked over the top of his paper, cause now he was paying attention. Excuse me? Could you run that by me again one more time, he asked. Your new name is Pinky Gladys. What? I clapped my hands real happy. Gutsman, I shouted. Pinky Gladys Gutsman. And so from now on, everybody has to call me that or else I will not even answer. Okay, Daddy? Okay? I hugged myself. Isn't it just the cutest name you ever heard of? Because Pinky is the loveliest color I ever saw. Plus Gladys Gutsman is the snap lady at school. And so who wouldn't want to be named after that woman? That's what I would like to know. Daddy shook his head. I don't know. This doesn't really sound like a good idea to me, he said. I did a frown at that guy. Why, Daddy? How come? How come it doesn't sound good? Well, for one thing, it's much too long. No one will be able to remember a name as long as that one. I tapped on my chin. Hmm, I said. Hmm. Then all of a sudden, my whole face got happy. Hey, I got it. After that, I zoomed in my room and I got some paper and I zoomed right back again. A name tag! We will make a name tag! That way, people can read my new name and they won't even have to remember it. I gave the paper to Mother. Write it down, write it down, write down my new name on this paper. We can pin it right on my clothes. Mother did a frown at Daddy. Way to go, Ace! she said, kind of mumbling. After that, she wrote my new name on the paper and she pinned it to my PJs and I danced all around the floor. Pinky Gladys Gutsman, Pinky Gladys Gutsman. My new name is Pinky Gladys Gutsman. I sang it real joyful and mother and daddy didn't say any words. They just kept on looking at me. Finally, daddy got up from the table well, gotta go, he said. I've got an appointment to get a haircut. Mother springed out of her chair. She grabbed Daddy by his shirt. Oh, no, you don't. You can't, she said. I have an appointment to take Ollie to the doctor this morning. Remember, if you need to get your haircut, you're going to have to take you-know-who with you. I tapped on her. Gutsman, I said. The name is Pinky Gladys Gutsman. Daddy runned his fingers through his hair. He did a big sigh and he told me to hurry and get dressed. I jumped way high in the air. Hooray! I shouted, hooray, hooray! Pinky Gladys Gutsman is going to the barber shop with her daddy and she really enjoys that place. After that, I twirled and twirled all over the kitchen. Only too bad for me, because I accidentally twirled into the refrigerator and the stove and the dishwasher, and I got knocked on the floor. My head made a loud clunking sound. I felt it real careful. Good 
news, I said, no damage. After that, I jumped back up and I ran to get dressed for the barber shop. Chapter number two, meeting Maxine. We will see what happens. See you next time. Bye-bye.